Hey everyone, my name is Larry Hunt. Welcome to my podcast. Today we'll be talking about this 3v3 we got going on where we got... I don't even know how to use this. This is Tanner. He's playing as one of the civs. He's the Hindustanis. It's over here. Gosh, I've worked on these in too long. Jeff's over here. I love in Capture is how it shows the town centers and the castles on the mini map. It's really cool. Jeff is a blue team, so he's probably going to win because blue's the best color. It's the Britons. And also because he has Austin on his team. And that's always a winning situation. Austin's the Spanish. And then we see... Ugly Junior, my boy over here, as the Huns. Going all in on the Tarkins. We'll talk that, about that in a minute. And Barzizzle is the Spanish... And Joel is the Romans because we all knew this was we all knew that was coming. So, anyways, tree is about to drop. Looks like uh, Michael's about to storm in long and hard, but he doesn't have a way to get through these walls. I know the top one of the Huns' big failings is they don't have onagers, and he needs someone in there to cut around this because this is just gonna take too long. Otherwise, he'd be freaking right in everything. He'd be causing a huge mess if he had a way around those walls. I don't think the Trebs are going to do it in time, but we'll see. It could be wrong. I did notice that the top team had their trade up and going faster. This is hideous. Barzi, this is a war crime. My goodness. I just saw that. Um, and then Joel looks like he's having a great old time over here. His purple, some markets back here that they're going to probably go to later. I like it. You should have more guys than gold right there. I like that you're chopping through the trees. All right, anyways, this looks like uh, Tanner's going to be ready to go, and Joel's putting up some defenses. Maybe it's going to be the other way around. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm just going to kick it off, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Also, I'm recording only through my mic, so hopefully this is loud enough. Ready, set, go. Oh, it's not, oops, someone just died. I didn't even see it. Anyways, uh, 45. There he is. He's knocking him down. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. See, this is great. Would have been great if he could have gotten in faster. It, like, it really was a game of seconds right there. He's moving these up, though. That's going to be damaging. Uh, nothing going on here. Everyone else is boring. Oh, siege elephants, Tanner? I mean, I guess. Okay, so we're back here. This is the fight. This is good. Michael is just large in charge over here. So, there's Michael, and I run things around here. Destroying buildings and taking names. It's taking two people just to hold him back, and I don't even know if they're holding him back. Uh, Jeff's got those. Britain, someone needs to go kill those. No problem. It looks like his uh, cab archers are maybe trying to hit him. He's got the, moving the trebs up. I like it. He's probably building some more, but who am I to tell Michael what to do because he is just a man. Okay, nothing happening here because Jeff's over there helping. Oh, I see stuff here. Tanner is through, but it looks like Joel's through. Oh, no, he's going back. What's he? Tell me, what are you doing? Oh, that's weird. Cutting through here? What? I don't. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe I missed something there. Anyway, he's going after the castles. That's good. He's got an onager blocking, blocking the wall. It's devastating. Uh, not, we're gonna go back over here. Yeah. So Michael's knocking down stuff. Barzy's here with the the cavalry, man. Holy cow, that's all Michael's missing. Get him in there, Barzy! Get him in there! Barzy, he needs you so bad! Uh, a whole bunch of villagers, that's because he's fighting. Can't fault him for that. Um, Joel's making adjustments over here, because that's what Joel freaking does. Joel makes adjustments. Also, the stupid Jeff, stupid scout is back here. Uh, Alright, Michael is still <laughs> just taking... He's in the trade. The trade's right there. I mean, I heard this was a back and forth, so apparently uh, stuff's going to happen, but um, this, uh, we need some reinforcements. They got stuff here, they're killing trade cards, they need to kill these guys here. I like that he's going after the castle. Barzy, send in the troops, my friend. Go back over here, yep. Joel and Tanner are going to play patty cake like they do with Tanner eventually losing. I'm going to call that one right there. Let me go back over here. Uh, oh, Barzy's even got guys back there. Yeah, this looks devastating. I don't understand how they're going to turn this into a game. I was told they're going to, but this should be the end right here. 
like, Barzi's cavalry should come in here and kill all the trash, and Michael should knock down, uh, what he's knocking down. Yep, take down that castle, and Barzi, we need that ca there it is, that cavalry, even Joel's over here, right on. Joel's dinking around with Tanner and supporting on the far side, love it. They sneak in a guy, oh, that's, uh, Joel's scout, <laughs> killing villagers. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like the game is over. Uh, I'm just either a cut or maybe Joel's gonna start losing over here. Something's gotta change. Uh, Michael's forward building. He's freaking teaching a clinic on managing a front over here. Um, we gotta get Varzi's cavalry closer and more. And this another war crime committed by Jacob Varzi, ladies and gentlemen. I will be testifying against him. Uh, Tanner looks like he's doing his thing over here, but, I mean, this is just devastating. The trade is dead. They've cut off, looks like they're about to cut off the hand, maybe? I don't know. So, Joel needs, Joel needs some bombard cannons unless the Romans don't have them. That's exactly what this needs over here. I'll find out later when I look at the tech tree. This is all I see. See that scout still hanging out over here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. The flowers. <laughs> oh, snap. Michael brought in skirmishers. Let's go. Yeah, this, this this looks like... The destruction of Austin looks to me like the end of the game. Maybe they sent me the wrong file. Maybe it's the right file. Maybe Tanner's about to go over here and change the game. Yeah, all those... He's got all these hand cannoneers and no one to kill him. Those... Those, uh, halves are just going to their death. Yeah, this could be bad. Tanner's about to come save the day. Cause, ain't no one saving the day over here. That's for sure. Yep, there he is. Tanner got in. Jill's... There you go, got some cavalry to go hang out with those... Those hand cannons. really need some bombard cannons, though. Without the support of the hand cannoneers, though, these guys are eventually going to get shredded by the halves. And these guys are just moving over here. Jeff putting up a good fence, because that, that's what Jeff does. Uh, looks like Joel's managing things, because that's what Joel does. Joel just takes things and turns them into things. He's like a wizard. Uh, what's this? Austin removing. Okay. Uh, Barzy killing. You need to get a ram or something on those Barzy. Knock down them houses. With those Tarkins, maybe. But this looks great. I shouldn't criticize. You guys are just... You guys are doing a top-notch job over here. But Jeff is, uh... Jeff is also, you know, a bad person. So he might... He might make you pay somehow, because that's what he does. Okay. Tanner's knocking on the door over here. I like it. What's that? And Jeff's got some long bowmen to support. Probably come out of there. Like that too. And what about the trade? We got a little bit of trade going on over here, not a whole lot. And Michael's got the forward castle. And they don't have anything on it, I don't think. Yep, that's gonna be hurtful. Building up Tarkins in the back. And Cap Trades makes this so great. I think that's Joel. Yeah, Joel got a little Centurion back there. Oh, he's got them all over the place. That's smart. That's classic. Joel, he knows what he's doing. He's got some more legionaries over here. Uh, Tanner. He needs to get some bombard cannons on those. I'm guessing they don't have them. Maybe he's gonna build some ships? Right there to take care of it? That'd be kinda cool. Whoa, Jeff got in. Jeff, oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Jeff's cut. Boom. I missed it, but he is in and he's gonna be causing some damage. I don't even know if they know he's there. They're going in this way. I mean, they could even come around from the back at this point. Uh, Barzi's... <laughs> they must not know he's there. Uh, this is getting bad. I don't know how that team survived. How? Did they just stop the push? I don't get it. Man, yeah, Jeff is bad. So, they're in here. Okay, I just heard a bell. I think they finally saw him. Joel's fighting Tanner. Those hand cannoneers are really being a pr becoming a problem for Joel's infantry. Uh, this middle is just not being touched. Jeff is going to eat him from the inside out. 
see Tarkins and I see Cavalry over here. And then I see some of Barzi's um, Paladins. This is awful, Barzi. You should see someone about this. It's like an STD of AoE. Tanner's really using these hand cannoneers and trebuchets well. Uh, that's what he does. I think he's got someone back here. Yeah. This little cut they finally did is gonna be. Or this little, like, when they cleared that forest is gonna help him out. But, oh, alright. Tanner's got him in mess. Atta boy, Tanner. Yep. We're moving. And Joel is. Or Jeff is freaking everywhere. Uh, looks like they got him rooted out, maybe? Yeah, that last one. Okay. If they can get him rooted out and get back to this two on one on Jeff, I think they'll be okay. Oh, yeah. And Barzi. I missed this Barzi. I'm sorry, but this was brilliant. This is exactly what you needed to do. Uh, Tanner is marching forward with nothing to stop him in sight. Looks like he's making these. I don't think he has any gold left. Can you see gold somewhere? There's a button for that. I don't know where it is. I bet he's out of gold, though. Um, anyways. Uh, we'll go back here where Jeff's got that. They need some hand cannoneers for all Jeff's trash. Uh, looks like they plugged the hole, though, and that is probably going to be that. Tanner's got all these hussars, so I'm guessing he's out of gold. How do you freaking do it? I mean, there's a button for it somewhere. Alright. So, Tanner marched on Joel. He is just... Joel had no answer for Tanner once Tanner got inside. Those hand cannoneers shredded everything he could send towards him. But Barzi's on the way! And just the fact that they owned, destroyed the Austin space is huge. They don't even have to march. They could just own this territory and eventually outspend him. Here's Jeff. He's back. He's trying to go at the wall thingy. Capture Age really does make this so cool. There's got to be a way to do this. Oh, there we go. For gold! Yep, there it is. They don't have any gold. And Joel Tanner and... Or Joel Barzi and... Um, Michael do. That's going to be the end of the game. Joel is being incredibly effective with his... Tr or Jeff is being incredibly effective with his trash, though. These freaking hand cannoneers. These are all, like, five-star generals. They've been... They've killed so many units. Uh... Right, let's go get the treb first. Go get the treb. Um, <laughs> I love the wall, guys. Good job. Owning so much territory. Yeah, I really think that's going to be the end of the game. It's attrition at this point. Tanner has been good over here, but Joel has survived. That's all he had to do was just not die. And it looks like that's what he's done. Oh, we've got a single hand cannon here on the university. Uh, the university doesn't stand a chance. Go back over here. Michael's making the right units and bringing in the Onager. The Onager's really gonna help. Uh, we got Tarkins in the back. Yeah, I think this game is over. Even though that was a million dollar cut by Jeff. I think the fact that Austin was gone. Had Austin still been around, that might have been a game winning cut. But the fact that they just destroyed Austin, um, I think it's a numbers thing at this point. So. Yeah, looks like they just resigned. Tanner's the only one left. Played a great game, Tanner. You did a great job. Wow. Michael hit too hard uh, at the beginning. I think that's the, that's the story here. Alright, let's go check out the stats. Um, actually, we turn the map. I'm going to get out of Capture Age because I just don't do a great job in it. Here we go. Here we go, this is what I want to see. Alright. We've got Barzu, that total score. Atta boy. Jeff, that military, because he's just a beast. Um, but Michael with the MVP. Because, man, he, uh, he was doing his thing at the beginning there. This military score. Lost a lot of units, but he did so good. He killed so many buildings. Barzu killed more, I think, with that devastating plunge he did. I missed too much of it. Tanner and Jeff tied for largest army. It's kind of uh, ironic. Poor Austin. That that death blow to Austin won the game. Here we go. Our ecos. Um, looks like we were feeding who we fed Austin, of course, and 
Man, no resources sent. Either you guys were just rich the whole time, or maybe we'll talk a little bit more. 